Hi, I'm Tim from Cycle Tote Bicycle Trailers, and I'm going to be showing you how to assemble an aftermarket automatic braking system that we sell for our trailers. This is the end result. You have a wheel, the cable is attached to the, the braking arm, the clamp is down here. The cable runs up the side of the trailer, is tie wrapped to the tow bar, and then you have the tie rod on the front and the brake actuator. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a 532nds Allen key, a small piece of cloth, a pair of pliers, a 9 16 inch wrench, a 9 millimeter wrench, and if you don't have a 9 millimeter wrench, a 3 8 wrench will work, or you can use an adjustable wrench for any of the wrenches here. So the first thing you're going to do when you start assembling the braking system is loosen the pinch bolt here, slide it to the end, and do that on both cables. Loosen it, slide it to the end, and then tighten it back up. Just finger tight. Now that we've got some slack in the cable, slide the actuator over the sternum end on the inside of the tow bar and tighten the Allen key. Put the rod through the sternum from the trailer side, put the actuator up onto the nub of the rod, then the spring over the rod, and start to tighten the tie rod onto the rod. At some point it's going to get stiff and we're going to need a wrench. So take the piece of cloth that you have and the wrench, push back on the, sp push back on the str spring, put the cloth over the rod, and hold it in place with the pliers. Now you're going to use a 9 16 inch wrench to tighten the tie rod. Tell me when you're... The next step is to put the clamps on the trailer. Note that one of them has a bent slot here. That's the left one. The one that doesn't have a bent slot is the right one. So we're going to put the left one on the left side of the trailer when you're facing forwards. And then the one that's not bent goes on the right side of the trailer when you're facing forwards. So slide the clamp over the bar on the trailer. And you're going to tighten the screw from the outside. The nut's going to be on the inside. And just tighten it a little bit so that it it's the nuts engaged, but the clamp is loose. Okay. Place the wheel in the dropouts, pushing the axle as far back as you can, and then finger tighten the nuts. So you slide the clamp over the black arm on the brake, about three-eighths to half an inch of black arm should show through the clamp and then tighten the clamp down with the screw. Okay. Now you're going to want to put the cable on the brake while the, bra while the wheel's on the trailer, but I'm going to demonstrate so that you can see what I'm doing. Put the adjustment screw, this piece here, slide it over into the hook 
on the, this arm and ten, then take this pinch bolt and bring it around and into this little hook. Then you're going to pull it finger tight and screw it down just so the cable doesn't move. Then take a 9mm wrench and tighten it up a little more. This is the left wheel completed. Note that the left wheel is a little different than the right wheel in that the brake arm slopes down and where it's attached to the clamp it's coming through at an angle which is why the slot in the clamp is bent a little bit to accept that arm. The brake cable has been hooked into the brake arm and the pinch bolt is attached to the hook in the back and has been tightened just like we did on the other side. So all we have left to do at this point is adjust the brakes and then tie up the cables so that they're out of the way. In order to adjust the brakes, first you want to make sure that the brakes are spinning freely and not breaking when you're not trying to actuate them. And then when you press on the tie rod here, you want the brakes to stop the wheels at the same time. Notice that in this case, the back wheel is going to stop quicker than the front wheel. Okay. So in order to adjust this brake so that it breaks more quickly, we unscrew this screw like this, then tighten up the stop nut against this piece here. Then we go back and forth and do what I did before, spinning both wheels until the wheels stop at the same time. At this point I've got the wheels adjusted pretty well. Again, they spin freely when I give them a turn. When I push on the tie rod, both wheels stop at about the same time. You're going to want to check this periodically just to make sure that that you're not braking prematurely and that the wheels stop at the same time. In summary, you've got three steps. The first step is to assemble the brake actuator, the rod, the spring, and the tie rod. The second step is to attach the wheels, the clamp, over the braking arm. Step three is to assemble the cables, put them on the brake, and adjust the brakes.